Zev Mo here at the Samsung Experience in New York with Scott. Now we're going to go over some of the technologies, the amazing technologies that Samsung is coming out with now and has out, uh, as we'll see uh, a little later on. Tell us a little bit about this fantastic thing right behind us. This is, a, this is like a, the Jetsons come to real life. Yeah, what's really interesting about this is this is a transparent LCD. So when you're actually looking at the screen, you see through it. Mm -hmm. So today's technology, you're actually using a backlight. So it's a device. It's your cell phone. It's your notebook. It's your TV, which are great and amazing technologies. But think about the ability to actually have this blend into the environment itself, the number of applications. I'll give you a quick one, for example. So imagine this being on the front of your refrigerator. So it could be opaque, and you could actually have this look really nice on your refrigerator. And all of a sudden, you want to see what's in it. You don't have to open the door or waste a lot of energy. It actually could be smart enough to actually read the barcodes that are in there, tell you something's expiring. Very cool. And it's just amazing technology. You're going to be able to see this into uh, new and am amazing applications over the next year or so. Yeah, there's so many applications that I could just think of off the top of my head. But as far as cost-wise in comparison to some of the other technologies that are out now, some of the higher resolution displays, can you tell us a little bit about the process that goes in, not not anything you know internal, but sure. of course, but some of the process that's involved and how it make how you make it, the longevity of the uh, of the actual application of the the device. Yeah, so if you look, this is actually just a really uh, great technology because you don't need a backlight that's there. Mm -hmm. You could use ambient light. In fact, this demo that we have here, since we're kind of in a dark conference room, we actually have just some overhead lighting, and so you could actually uh, build this, incorporate this into a system, and actually make this. A at, at doing this in the applications that are actually going to make sense for the consumer, mm -hmm. and both in prosumer applications as well as consumer places That's as well. That's very cool. Now, as far as portability, um, which down the road, of course, you could see many applications uh, for use of that. What's the um, size we're talking about for the power, for um, the consumption of the, of the unit? So since there's no true backlight that's required, the power requirements are, are very low. And so this is a green device. It could be enabled into portable devices as well as uh, powered devices. Now, is there any expected date for when, these, uh, de when this type of technology is going to come out or the people at home can go and buy a device similar to that? So we're actually demoing this now. We're sampling it to some key customers, and you'll actually see it in applications out in 2011. Fantastic. Well, I'm sure we're going to get some uh, some some demonstration of what it looks like. Tell us about some of the other things that Samsung's doing. There's a lot of very interesting things that are going with the tab, television, wall technology. Oh, absolutely. So there's a lot of new amazing technologies that are out there, but we're also looking at things like new applications. Mm -hmm. So places that you've never seen an LCD before. So let's use, for example, the vending industry. It hasn't changed in 40 years. Right. You, you put your coins in, you got your drink out, or you get your snack. Um, today we're actually putting 46-inch touchscreens where partnered with Kraft and with Coca-Cola, and these things are actually rolling out. Uh, Kraft is beta testing this in the Boston area, mm -hmm. and they've actually seen a 600% increase in their sales on the early testing that they've seen. What it does for consumers is it actually allows them to get the information that they need to have is how many calories is the snack that I'm eating? What's mm -hmm. nutritional information? You can't see that from the packages that are there. So that 46 inch touchscreen allows you to get that information that's actually very, very helpful for you. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, you could actually use this as an advertising network. Right. So Mr. Peanut might come over and wave over to you and say, hey, buy me. Um, but you could actually use this as a global advertising network. So since there's 4 million of these vending machines that are scattered throughout the globe, you could actually pop, turn this into a a, uh, really a media network that's going to be very powerful for key brands. You know, it's interesting because a lot of uh, households are going to larger and larger televisions as we see. It seems as though the main television size is about what, 46 to 55 inches, kind of that sweet spot? Yeah, what's happening now is uh, TVs are getting uh, larger in the home. We've been able to make them thinner. Mm -hmm. So some of the TVs that we'll show you today are less than a third of an inch thick. So you could actually hang this up like uh, you do a painting. It's got a couple of discs with a wire and you hang it up. No wow. no uh, huge sophisticated mounting systems and call out, and out the installer. Um, but it also allows you to have this immersive experience. So when you're sit sitting back and you're watching this 3D movie, you put on your glasses, you can feel like, wow, I'm in an IMAX theater. It looks fantastic in yeah, your home. I thought it was interesting as we were looking at it that the television is actually thicker than most cables that oh, yeah. go into the television. <laughs> yeah, yeah. the the, uh, the set itself is getting so thin, it's thinner than most people's cell phones. Right, 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 exactly. Yeah. 
And there's a the video wall that uh, that we're seeing. Yeah, so if you think about what we've tried to do is give the consumer the experience of having this massive immersive experience. Mm -hmm. And so there's a couple of ways of doing that. One is just building these bigger and bigger displays, but then it gets to be impractical. Uh, how you ship them, how do you store them, Absolutely. how you travel around the world with them. So what we've done is actually created a very narrow edge, mm -hmm. and so we can actually tile these things together. So we're working with a high-end brand, Runco, right now. This actually sound this as a home theater system. Mm -hmm. So you actually could buy a two by two or a three by three giant screen system in your home, and you could watch your favorite videos. You could be able to get the content that you want to have. You could watch multiple programs at the same time, mm -hmm. or one on a big screen, or use a subset of those. But you also can turn that into a virtual landscape. That's or a piece cool. of art. So when it's, you're not using this, it can actually be something that's just beautiful piece of art that's in your room. That's fantastic. Yes. So I see that uh, also there's a kind of a trend going away from the old technologies, let's say, of, of a DLP um, backlit type of display to a side-lit LED or just to get that, that thinness. Can you tell us a little bit about where you see that technology going as far as the, the using side-lit LED or going with uh, other types of technologies? Some some brands are using what they call laser technology. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about how Samsung differentiates from some of the other competitors? So Samsung actually branded the term LED TV, mm -hmm. and it actually was a real turning point in the marketplace. Consumers went to the store and they saw this ultra-thin set, and they never saw anything like it before. And it was the fastest growing segment of the market was the LED TV market. Mm -hmm. And it's still growing at this, at this very, very fast rate. And so consumers are definitely looking for a great picture. They want very low power, and they wanted to have it as thin as possible. So you actually are able to do that with the the edge lit LED sets. They just look amazing. Oh, for sure. And also, uh, of course, how can we not mention 3D? Yes. Uh, that's a that's a, a very big and very cool display that you have outside. It's showing all the different aspects and different television sets about 3D. Can you tell us a little bit about how Samsung has uh, evolved that technology? Yeah, so Samsung was really the first brand to be out promoting the 3D mm -hmm. technology into the sets mainstream for the consumer. And so what they did was they actually took 240 frames per second and they actually will split that into 120 frames to each eye. What that enables the consumer to have is this real life uh, experience that just looks fantastic, just like you're in the movie theater. So when you see the fish swimming around mm -hmm. in front of you, they look like they're really swimming around in front of you. A normal TV picture only operates at 60 frames a second, so right. we're actually interpolating or actually creating three new frames for every real frame that you see. Mm -hmm. And by having that true experience, it looks fantastic. And they're also changing the uh, pixel refresh rate, so they're actually switching the pixels on much faster right. so when you combine those two technologies together it gives you this ultra real experience and then you combine that with LED and you get ultra thin and the ultra real it gives you the best experience right and also I see that that you really take in technology to heart when you're even dealing within the television as far as using apps and other type of uh, uh, syncing between devices so that you can stream different uh, whether it be video or photos from, uh, what is it called, All Share? Yeah, so if you think about your television, it actually has become very smart. So there's actually an app store on your TV mm -hmm. that you could actually get your favorite application. So if you want to stream your music, you want to get your uh, favorite uh, movie from Netflix, you can do that. Right. But also with, uh, with the application All Share, it allows you to take your own personal content that you have. So if you have pictures on your phone or you have videos of your friends or you want to connect to the Internet, you could actually grab that image by a click of the button and it actually pops up onto your screen. So you could use all that content that you have and actually share it with all your family and friends. Well, that's fantastic. There's just so much we can cover. We could stay here all day at the Sony, at the, uh, the Samsung experience here. And uh, I'll tell you, I'm very impressed with both this technology and all the stuff that you have out and available now. So I recommend everybody go and take a look at all that Samsung has to offer. Come to the Samsung, Samsung Experience. Take a look for yourself. Give it a test drive. I'm sure you'll be impressed. Scott, thank you so much for having us today. No, thank you.